In this piano tutorial, we're going to continue with the Christmas theme and learn the song O Holy Night in the key of G major. And this song was highly requested through the comment section, so feel free to leave any song request down below. And if you have any questions about the sounds or the software that I use in all of the videos, all of that information can be found in the description box below, okay? Now, this version that we're going to learn is the one by Tasha Cobbs in the same key of G major. And it's kind of, um, it has a lot of passing chords, a lot of substitution. So what I'm going to do is go through the song very slowly and I'll stop here and there to explain some of the movements that I do. Okay. So we start off on the first line. So what I did here was basically start on the one and I'm trying to maintain the melody of the song throughout the voicings that I play. So what I mean by this is that the melody is the last note in the chord. So oh, holy night. then we play this, th um, this three chord. And I like this three chord because of these two notes right here. They, they create that dissonance, which sounds very good in this setting. So three. Four, two, then a one over five, then a passing chord on the three, but it's voiced slightly different, right? In first inversion, it is the nine. And then we play this E minor, right? Usually um, we may play like this, just a E, B, and G, but I like including the seventh note again for that dissonance. So. Then we play this one over five, then a D7 or just a five chord, and then we're back to the one. And here I play this um, these sets of chords right in between the two um, verses of this song, right? So we were on the one, and then I do this. So what I did here was basically play G as the outer notes, and I just play a C major, C minor, and then a G major, okay? And we start again in the next verse. So, lonely the world. But here it changes slightly. We're going to um, play a set of chords used as passing chords to get to the three chord, right? Instead of doing again, we're going to do something different and it sounds like this. Right, so what I did here was play this passing chord on A flat, right, and it's sort of a, a an A flat minor eleventh, but I'm I'm omitting some of the notes, right? I'm just playing these outer notes, so, and then we go to this C sharp minor eleventh. Um, the way that I like to think about it is as a B major over C sharp minor, right? And I include or double up on this A flat right here just to fill up slightly more, so. Then passing chord on the seven, voiced in this way. And then we're here on the three chord, okay? So, da 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 Now the next chord is a five chord, right? And the part that goes. And here, instead of just going straight to the five, I use the passing chord or I'm going to use a passing chord on E, right? So right after this three chord, 
I do this movement. So, on the once we're on the three, I play D E F sharp A, and then an E major, right? And then we go into the five chord, which is voiced like this. I'm playing A, E, and G in my left hand, but the right hand is playing C and D um, with the thumb. But if you can, you can play C, E, G, B, and D. But my hands don't reach that comfortably, so I just play C and D with my thumb, and I play G, B, and D on the rest of the fingers, okay? So this is my A minor 11th. Then we play a five chord, two, I'm um, sorry, two, five, and then one, okay? So two, and that repeats. go to the one chord and here we use a passing chord on the seven um i basically voice it as a, a b7 over f sharp and then we go to the six chord All right there's a couple of ways of doing these chords that come up next so i start off on the six then I bring it down to a 6 over 5. And then I play this passing chord, which is technically the way that I'm thinking about it is as a 7 3 6, this next progression that I'm going to do. And the 6 in this case is going to be a B minor, right? So we start on the regular 6. Then we play this C sharp 7, which becomes the, the 7, okay? Then we play this three, right, quote unquote, but it's on F sharp seven, which is technically the seven of G in this case. So, then we play this B minor seven, in this case, the three, and then a passing chord on the C major, um, C major 13 sharp 11, or simply just a C major 9 sharp 11, okay? So let me just play the whole thing right here so you got a better idea of how it sounds. So what I did is again E three chord, then passing chord on C to get to this chord, an F sharp half diminished, then a B7 flat nine, and then an E minor. Then we play a C minor six to get to this one over five or G over D. Then we play a D over C, so. Then a G over B. Then a four chord. Then a one over five. Then a one. Passing chord. Again, 5 over 4, then a 1 over, th one over 3, 4, finish off the song on the one chord okay so uh, some of these chords may be um, slightly confusing but what I'm going to do now is play the whole song through that way you guys can can stop the video and go back and forth and learn the chords exactly how they go and hopefully you're able to to learn something extra from this section of the video